this is a Hasselblad 500 EL, and today I'm gonna go out and uh, put a roll through it. So I am obligated to say that this is not my Hasselblad. This is in fact uh, Alex's camera, my friend Alex, who helped me out with the pack film videos over the last little while, has given me his Hasselblad on loan since over the summer, and I have not had a chance to uh, put a roll through it just because I've had so much else going on. So I'm gonna load up. I've got a roll of Valvia 50, which is a Fuji slide film in medium format. That was kindly sent along to the P.O. Box, courtesy of the Lomographer, who uh, is a frequent commenter and Patreon of the channel. We're gonna load up, we're gonna take a look at the 500EL Hasselblad, and hopefully get some good looking slides. So today I am shooting uh, Velvia 50, which is a Fuji color slide film, color transparency, color reversal film. It has a few different names, but it means that once it's developed in uh, the proper chemical process, once they drop it off at the lab, which I will uh, throw in the information down below for where I get my slide stuff done here in Toronto, it will be a positive. So I can actually kind of take a look at it. So I'll throw in some footage at the end of this of the actual film itself and, and how the exposures and the images look on the film. Velvia, Provia, and Ectochrome are th the three big color slide film stocks that you can get right now. The 500EL uh, has a motor drive on the bottom. This is part of the camera. It cannot be removed. So originally it would have taken some old school like rechargeable batteries, but inside this model at least has been uh, rigged up to run off of just a normal nine volt battery. So no more old school like weird batteries or like having to recharge the stuff just so you can use the camera. The EL was made pretty popular based on the fact that it was the model of camera that accompanied the Apollo missions. So this type of camera has been to space. So with this camera, it has a six by six medium format uh, back on it. So it takes six by six square images. So on six by six, I will get 12 shots on one roll of medium format. Uh, the bigger the frame size, the less images that you can fit onto a roll. So like the six by nine on the Mamiya Universal will give me only eight shots. It's a lot of fun to shoot with and it kind of lets you compose differently as opposed to like the normal wider rectangular aspect ratio of like 35 millimeter and other formats like that. The 500 EL has some different settings on the side of the camera that uh, kind of replace what on a normal Hasselblad would be the manual like film advance. So the middle setting is just kind of for regular shooting. You can also set it up for kind of rapid shooting. So just holding down the shutter uh, button means that it will just like continuously expose as you're like holding down the button. And then the settings at the front will kind of allow you to leave the door at the rear of the camera open as well. So there's less kind of going on uh, in the camera when you're exposing. So you can kind of work a little quicker on that as well. You can safely remove the uh, magazine on the camera as you're shooting. You have the dark slide on the Hasselblad magazine and as long as that's in place then you can safely remove it from the camera. The dark side also prevents the camera from taking a picture when you have it in so it won't actually fire by mistake.
these cameras I can really do, like you can swap out magazines, you can swap out the uh, viewfinder as well. So this is actually one from my kind of Soviet uh, Hasselblad style camera, the Kiev, and then the lens can also detach as well. So all in all, this is just like the body of it. So it's got a mirror in there, so you're actually viewing out of the lens. So on this camera, Alex has the 50 millimeter Carl Zeiss Distagon, which is, uh, it opens up down to F4 and goes up to F22, the equivalent of what this would be on like a 35 millimeter SLR would be like a 30 millimeter lens. You have your focusing uh, ring, but then you also have the shutter speed and the aperture values on the ring itself of the lens as well. The shutter speed and the aperture are actually coupled together. You set the aperture that lines up with the appropriate shutter speed and then uh, you can move them and it moves in unison with each other. So Hasselblads are incredibly well known and very highly regarded in terms of being like medium format cameras. Is the hype justified? Yeah, probably. Uh, they're incredibly well made. They can last you like a very long time. They're very sturdy as long as you keep them in good condition. There are some great lenses that go along with them as well. It is like holding a cube though. I mean the 500EL has the motor drive on the bottom so there's definitely like more weight to it. That's it, uh, 12 shots. I'm gonna throw in here, actually, uh, some footage of the actual slides, uh, the, the film itself. It always looks so cool, but it's also very kind of hard to convey, like, the experience of, of looking at slides physically in a video like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking this out and I hope that you learned uh, a little bit about I don't know medium format or slides or uh, the Hasselblad or at least the Hasselblad EL. I'm gonna drop this stuff off at the lab. Uh, there's also the Patreon down in the description, the PO box, information for a Pro 8 millimeter uh, where you can get uh, Super 8 and 16 stuff uh, if you're looking for motion picture things. Uh, thank you of course to Alex for lending me the, uh, the Hasselblad to shoot with. And there it is, our uh, finished roll. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.